hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be applying this heat press onto my black hoodie shirt here it's a not a black hoodie shirt but my black hoodie pullover and i've had this pullover for over five years and i just want to give it a little pop so i'm gonna be applying this heat on press and i got it from timo and it wasn't expensive i think it was like a dollar twenty so i'm gonna go ahead and apply it on and then i'll let you see what it looks like when i'm through and so i've taken it out of the package and this is what it looks like it's very easy to apply so this is the side that i'm going to be putting the iron on and then this is the actual side this is the actual side that's going to be stick the, the sticky side that's going to stick to my shirt. So you can kind of see the sticky side, what it's looking like. So I'm just going to lay it. I already centered the shirt, you know, not a pro, but I think I've done this so many times. So I think I got it right. Okay. So just like I'm laying it down, that's how it's going to be reading when you see it except this black number up here. I'm not gonna be doing that part. I think that's just a number or a barcode. Okay guys, so I will get the iron to apply the heat so that the heat press will stick onto my shirt. And so guys, I have my iron here and I'm gonna be ironing the heat press just like that just applying it I go back again and iron and anybody can do this except for children okay I'd recommend adult supervision If you're a kid that's watching a child, have your mom or dad assist you in doing this. Because we do not want to have any accidents because uh, iron is very hot. Okay, so once I do this, I think it's about sticky now. It's about sticked on on there, but I usually try to go over it at least five times. You know, and iron it. Pressing down real good. And I always try to lift the iron to give it a little breather. very cheap okay guys I'm cheap 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 so if I was to buy this in the store with this logo on it I'd be paying you know a couple bucks extra but this is an old hoodie that I have a pullover and it's very cozy and I love it you know it belonged to my son, and it's just a reminder every time I put it on, I remember him. Well, he was going to put it in a Goodwill bag, but I took it out. And it was very tight on me, but I've lost weight, and now it's real roomy and comfy. So it's my wintertime comfy hoodie. Okay, so we are going to be lifting... Sorry if I'm going over it so many times. What's that? You go over it as many times as you want to. There's no specific way. But I just like to make sure that it is stick on there when I do it. So I'm going to be peeling it back. And I will let you see what that looks like. 
Okay, so I'm going to be peeling it back for you guys. Let me hold the camera the other way so you can see. And I usually like to start from the bottom and peel it all the way up. And it's looking good. If you have any peeling up with your paper, you want to stick it back down before you peel the rest and press it back down and apply the heat again. And there we have it, guys. Isn't that pretty? This mama prays, which I am a praying mama. So I'm going to put it on my hanger and I'm going to let you see what it's looking like. If you like this video, guys, give me a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend, okay, to subscribe. And so, guys, this is what the hoodie is looking like. Looking real good. So... If you like this video, guys, don't forget, give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Be blessed, be safe, and peace.